All right, folks, Tommy Coward here on the lawn with you at Growing Green, and I'm at NC State Lake Wheeler Research Facility for Turf Grass. And what you see here is I'm in a tent where they're studying shade tolerance in zoysia and Bermuda grass here. And looking at various cultivars that may work really well, you can see the tipway. Some of these are, I believe, African. Uh, and they're breeding for the purpose of growing in shade and also looking at cultural practices that can be employed in order to grow Bermuda grass and zoysia grass in the shade. So this is Bermuda here. Um, pretty interesting little facility or study here. This is the breeding uh, program at NC State. There's some seeded varieties over there. Coming out here, this is a uh, St. Augustine cultural practice and also cold tolerance study here. And they lost a, we lost a lot of grass to cold uh, winter kill this year. This is another setup over here. This is all St. Augustine. And it's actually Raleigh. Now here I am in Raleigh. These are zoysia cultivars they're studying. You can see the diversity. Get out of the shade. Thicker bladed, finer blade, like some of these different varieties. Some are really, really thick, and some are very fine. And when these go start to go dormant in the winter time, they really take on this wonderful color: purples, reds. This is uh, some Bermuda grass. This is the one that they're studying um, cold tolerance in Bermuda grass. Boy, do we need that! We lost a lot of turf in North Carolina in the winter of 2015. This March actually is when a lot of it died. But they're doing the zoysia uh, study here and Bermuda grass breeding. I thought this might be interesting. Here's some St. Augustine. It's actually got the name Raleigh. We don't grow a lot of St. Augustine in North Carolina. But it is being developed, and this one actually has the name Raleigh. Here's this Dimidatum. That's pretty cool stuff. Look at that. But uh, these are all different cultivars that they're working with to breed. And here are the beautiful, beautiful Raleigh St. Augustine. I love the stuff. It's beautiful. I just want to share that with you here, Tommy Cowett, on the lawn at the 2015 NC State Field Day, which I got to do a stop when I was doing my master's degree here on the uh, diversity of tall fescue cultivars and establishing tall fescue. But hey, we do a lot with warm season grasses as well, as you can see. All right, folks, time to get back to the uh, other stops. Hope y'all are having a great one. All right, folks, here we are at the 2012 National Tall Fescue Test. This is part of NTEP, National Turf Evaluation Program. And I want to show you the difference here between Kentucky 31. This is an old forage type of turf. And then you look at any of the newer varieties. Deep, dark green color. These are all kind of new. Most of them are numbered. And as you can see, they've been treated with brown. There's Falcon 5 and Falcon 4. Those were more of an intermediate turf type after some of the first developments after K31. You could see the difference. Good old Falcon compared to the K31. If you could see that K31 against any of these newer, what are semi dwarf and dwarf varieties. This one here is a pure testing variety inspiration. Here's a Barrenbrook, a Bar FA. But as you can see, these fescues, they're beautiful. See if you could spot which ones are the K31s. Do you see them? There's one there. You see it? And down here, the K31, compared to all these others, that's K31. See the big difference in texture and color and quality? Well, folks, I'm going to head out. It's been a great field day today. We just had lunch. Here we are at the Lake Wheeler 
Turf Grass Field Day for 2015. Hope y'all are having a good one.